Well, greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is the Handheld Hack. The Handheld Hack is a uh, virtual, virtual magazine, a netcast about handheld devices, handheld computing. We all are using handheld devices these days. I guarantee you, you pick up your phone, you use it more like a computer than you do like a phone. As I, I heard somebody say recently, you use your phone to make phone calls? <laughs> no, they're using it for games. They're using it for uh, information, for keeping up with their schedule. All kinds of things happening in just the phone arena of the handheld uh, community. So it's pretty amazing what's going on in the handheld market these days. So, I want to remind you that we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the Handheld Hack. Also, uh, we are proud members of the International Association of Internet Broadcasters. So I did want to mention that as well. Now, on the Handheld Hack blog, that particular blog is a key resource for you if you want to keep up with handheld devices. And so that's at handheldhack.com, as it says there on the screen. You need to check it out because I post things there. I don't do a netcast as often as I probably should for the handheld hack. But uh, when I do, I try to kind of pick up everything that we've talked about from the last time we did a netcast to the present based on the blog. So let's look at what's available there. The first article is kind of unusual. It says, Palm may be being brought back from the dead. I, I don't know about that. I don't know that we need Palm devices anymore. Like I said, we got phones, and we do everything on our phones. Why would we bring back the old Palm PDA, Personal Digital Assistant? Makes no sense, because it's available now. Uh, all those, those capabilities are available in your phone. But anyway, the company is setting up a new Palm, Palm Incorporated in Silicon Valley, and they are working on taking all the old technology from Palm and trying to update it. Uh, we'll see how that works out. I'm not real impressed with that idea, but anyway. Handheld device gaming outstrips console usage. Now, this is an interesting article from back in uh, uh, the earlier part of this month, early March, because we're still in March, <laughs> almost April, but not quite. Uh, it seems like having our phones handy all day, every day, means we are playing more games there than on our home consoles. Now, I'm not a big console gamer myself. My son, the Game Master, is, but I'm not. Uh, and, you know, if I've got Frozen Bubble and I've got Angry Birds, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I can do that on my phone. I don't need a console for that. Uh, and apparently a lot of people kind of think the same way I do because at the end of 2014, the install base of smartphones worldwide was 2.2 billion, that's with a B, there are, in addition, more than 600 million tablets in consumers' hands as well. Those are all handheld devices. More than a third of that total of more than 2.8 million portable devices are used for gaming. More than a billion, in fact. So that's a lot of install base of games for handheld devices as opposed to consoles, which is not nearly as large a group. So uh, kind of interesting what's happening in that arena. The handheld world is kind of taking over. Now, let's talk about a handheld gaming platform. This is an open source one that's called GCW0. Uh, the GCW0 has been updated, now has a new update, which includes MAME, Final Burn Alpha, and many more features. And I have on the handheldhack.com a video where you can watch a demo of this particular open source handheld device. Now, it's open source in that they've opened it up, opened up the API where people can write games, and they even have a Kickstarter campaign to start the, uh, the hardware development for this device, which will remain open and allow people to write applications and games for this device. Their concentration is on developers and helping developers develop new games which is a pretty neat approach uh, to, the, to the way they're doing things, so kind of neat. Now, the next story we're talking about here is own body detection for Android phones. So, you know, I don't know if you're like me. I, I do lock my phone, okay, because I have some data on there that I, I don't want anybody to have access to, and the lock basically involves me punching a button and waiting for, to hear a click, 
and make sure that the thing is locked before I drop it back in my pocket. Well, in this case, when you put it in your pocket, it will lock automatically with this new feature uh, that Google is working on. They rolled out this new smart lock mode called On Body Detection. The feature described in the screens below, uh, which this is in the article that I posted here from the Android Police, uh, uses your accelerometer to figure out when your device is in your hand or your pocket and lock when it's not in your hand. The idea being that you, if you leave your phone sitting on a table or forget it somewhere, it will lock, preventing would-be thieves from easily accessing your data. It's actually a pretty cool idea. And they've uh, rolled this out as an option, and I think it's going to be pretty popular with folks. I know I would certainly appreciate it. Remember to push that button and put it in your pocket. You know how, you know how I know I haven't locked it properly? When I put it in my pocket and it rubs against my shirt and I hear it going click, 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 trying to activate buttons because it's in my pocket and then I have to pick it up, open it up, hit the button to lock it and put it back in my pocket and no more clicky noises. Pretty cool. Anyway, next item here, open source Sirius takes on Siri. This is a strange one. The idea here is that Sirius, get it, Sirius, Siri, uh, is an open source uh, software tool or program that runs under Linux, under Ubuntu. So if you have an Ubuntu workstation, computer, you can use it now. Or if you have an Ubuntu phone. Now there are Ubuntu phones available, mostly in Europe, but they are available. And so you could have a, an open source Siri type uh, digital assistant. You can actually get the code and install it on your Linux PC and experiment with it. And of course they're looking for people to help develop it because it is an open source project. And uh, who knows, before too long we may be talking to our Ubuntu phone and saying, Sirius? I have a question. You know, that would sound a little strange, doesn't it? But anyway, Siri, Cortana, and Sirius. Oh, well. Uh, Sirius is, of course, here as in the star Sirius, not being Sirius. You see what I mean? Anyway. All right. Well, that's just about it for the handheld hack. Remember, until next time, you're only as good as your last hack.